The International Convention Center, Orca, the Anambra State Capital, is one of the signature infrastructure projects the Obiano administration is passing on to the incoming government as he prepares to exit the seat of power after eight years. The 13,000-seater facility is a state-of-the-art edifice built in less than 24 months. Many visitors have been here to see the ICC. This time, royalty comes calling as the governor once again inspects the facility, accompanied by some traditional rulers, elder statesmen and other dignitaries. Work will not stop here as the target is to have hotels around the convention center to cater to the clientele the facility will attract once it becomes functional. What we want to do here is the governor of the land, then the private partner will develop it and run the hotel. You know, and the state will also make the renew. Because if that bring this place and you don't have enough hotels, you know, for you to fill up here, you have to stay in Asaba, in Lugu, wherever, because the accommodation will be a problem. So you still to pick for. Engineers working on the ICC talk through some facilities in place. This ceiling is a perforated gypsum board, which allows sound to pe penetrate the ceiling and uh, is absorbed by a layer of, uh, of a fiber, fiberglass layer above the ceiling, fiberglass sheet. Now that absorbs the sound to prevent reverberation and uh, kills reverberation pipe. This is very key. It's a project dignitaries here believe will turn around the economic fortunes of the state. From the day this center is commissioned, activities here will be from all over the country and all over the sub region. So that will also help in generating revenue for the state. So Your Excellency, we are very proud of that. The tour ends at the Anambra International Passenger and Cargo Airport, where the governor takes his visitors to see the VIP section and, most importantly, the escalator, which broke down a couple of weeks ago but has now been repaired. The Obi of Onicha commends the governor for giving Anambra State impressive legacy projects. And the governor has left uh, uh, legacies that we live after all of us. And uh, I think that in the Anambra and Nigerians ought to be grateful to His Excellency for these impressive projects. Other visitors who have seen the various projects say they set Anambra on a high pedestal, especially the airport, which has recorded 376 flights and close to 12,000 passengers between December 7th and January 31st, 2021, when it opened for business. Thank <laughs> you.